Good morning, Mass Bomb staff and students. This is Mr. Lon with your Monday morning B-Day announcements. We have a lot going on today, so I'm going to go as fast as I can. First from Nurse Chris, attention seniors, Wednesday, November the 9th is the last day that the photographer will be here for graduation photos. If you did not have your cap and ground gown photos taken last month, now is the time. Any student interested in a retake can also be seen that day. A copy of the schedule is posted in the 12th grade Google Classroom as well as outside of 208. See Ms. Chris with any questions from Mr. Blyweiss. The first meeting of the Mass Bomb Student Council scheduled for Thursday. November 3, after school has been postponed, new invitations for interested students will be distributed to advisors at a later date. Upcoming events, students you have off tomorrow for Election Day, all right? Also on Friday for Veterans Day. Students, you need to know about this. Tuesday the 16th, which is almost a week away, Quarter one grades are due for teachers. And that's just when teachers have to have them completed. Most teachers are going to be closing out their grades this Friday, Friday of this week. Okay. So students finish strong. Yes. The 14th to the 18th. Next week, we have our Mass Bomb Fall Spirit Week. More on that. And the big one, the quarter one PBS celebration for all students that are on track to graduate, passing four core classes plus one additional class. That is on Monday the 21st. And students, as you know, our number one priority as educators at Manispam always is to keep you safe and healthy so that you can learn. Reach out to a staff member that you trust if you have concerns or problems because we are here to support you. Students, have you ever heard of Yonder before? Yeah, you have. You've heard of Yonder. All right, so we will be coming. This is for Ms. Foster and the administrative team and the climate team. Okay, let's go. We will be coming around for pouch checks, daily process. Students arrive at school. They will turn their phone off, place their phone inside their pouch, and secure it in the front of school staff, in front of school staff. Uh, three, store their pouch in their backpack for the day. Violations, pouch damage, lost pouch, using phone during school. If a student damages their pouch, it, it is caught on their phone. Administration will collect the phone or pouch, return it to the student at the end of the day. A phone call will be made for each violation phone call home. And students must pay $15 for each pouch placed and students, I have to tell you, there's a surprise coming next week with Yonder. A surprise. I'm not going to ruin the surprise, but it's a surprise. Some of you won't like it. For Miss Higgins, this is your time to create your character. This is just the beginning of a series of contests. This is a chance for you to build and design your favorite characters and give them a voice. This is a contest for K-12. to Submission deadline is December 31st. Winners announced February 1st. If you follow that link right there, you can access the information. It provides all the guidelines and resources you may need. We can't wait to highlight your talents and your character design. We all have a character we love or wish we were. This is your chance to present what you have. What character do I wish I was? One more second, I'm going to give that some thought. I'm not sure. I don't know that I've ever thought about that before. The Fiber Arts Club is up and running. Do you want to learn to crochet or knit? Already know how, how to, but you want uh, to learn new pattern ideas and supplies? All right? You want to do these things? Come by Mondays after school, 245 to 345 in Miss Benedetto's room, 602. All skill levels are welcome. Come out to work on cool projects and learn a new or old skill. All right. The legendary Gamers Club is meeting today with Mr. Lamumba. All right. Reminder from Miss Linscombe. All right. To see her in room 617. Or come to the sign up sheet outside the main office if you're interested in the Mass Bomb Talent Show. Sign ups are happening. As we speak, who's going to be part of it? Our Spirit Week, Monday, 
is Monday the 14th, rather, is Pajama Day. Tuesday is Dress Like Your Favorite Character from a TV show, movie, or book. The 16th is Dress Like a Senior Citizen Day. If you're literally a senior citizen, I don't know what you're going to do on that. I guess you just win automatically. Uh, Thursday, the 17th, is Throwback Thursday, Dress Like Your Favorite Decade. Okay, what is your favorite decade? Some say that the last decade that was a true decade that had an identity, a zeitgeist, as they say, all right, was the 90s. It was the 90s because I don't really know what was going on in the 2000s and the 2010s. And it didn't seem like it had. It, saw, it seemed like those 20 years were. I digress. Moving along. And Friday is Jersey Day. Rep your favorite sports team. All right. Mass Bomb Spirit Week pep rally, okay, because we're not just having a spirit week, we're having a whole entire pep rally, is Friday the 18th, 122 gym. It's going to cost 150 PBIS points. You must purchase your tickets in room 427 during advisory, okay? You can duct tape Mr. Lon to a wall. There is a student versus staff volleyball game, a dance competition, and more. You know, I had some students... Stop me in the hallway and request to duct tape other people to the wall, other staff members to the wall. I won't say who they were, but they said, Mr. Lon, we'll duct tape you, but we would like to duct tape other people as well. Who they were, who they were, will it, it will remain nameless. Reminder about College Possible and our upcoming FAFSA workshop, the four for four. Chromebook repairs, social media. You already know. Mass Bomb Staff and Student Shoutouts. We have two slides because you know what happened? Something was wrong with my Google form where it wasn't showing the shoutouts that were submitted. So I apologize. I was a little bit behind on some of these shoutouts. So I just want to let the staff who gave them, thank you so much. Um, I didn't see them at first because it was Google's fault. Continuing. For Mr. Thomas. Shout out to Caden Martin for potentially saving lives. He saw a fire on the way to school and called the fire department. Shout out to Mr. Lessie for his Halloween look. I don't know exactly what he was, whether he was a character or just scary. He was scary, scary. For Ms. Kubacek, the results are in for the HRT Wound Lab competition. Congratulations to Pure Lise Pena and Damaris Cardenas for walking away with 67% of the vote. Also, a congratulations to Shyla Thomas and Jada Hill, whose awesome work earned them second place. Honorable mention goes to Shirai Irvin and Shirai Rollins. Hello, Shirai, who picture, whose picture was accidentally left out of the voting for half of the day. For Miss Wagner, shout out to Mia Mendoza, Lawrence Camp, and Eric Marsh for staying after school for 15 minutes to clean my room. They swept the floors, picked up books, rearranged the desks, and sanitized. Hey, your effort is appreciated. They were awarded a combined 100 PBS points for helping out all of Ms. Wagner's students. This opportunity is open to all of you as well. Stop by 302 after school if you want to earn PBS points before the Spirit Week event on the 18th. Note, the event, as we just discussed, and Ms. Wagner would like you to remember this, everyone, costs 150 PBS points. It's going to be a great event. It's going to be a great event. But it does cost. It does cost. Mass Bomb staff and student shout-outs continuing. Ms. Walker would like to shout-out the ambassadors who are working as tour guides for field trips at Fox Chase Farm. Well, you're all working hard, walking around over 100 acres, teaching 30 high-energy second graders about goats, donkeys, chickens, ducks, baby cows, bulls, Pigs, sheep, local birds, local vegetables, gardens, animal skins, and animal tracks. It was awesome to watch. I would have taken pictures, but one of Jay Cook's wonderful little lions decided that she wanted to hold my hand for two hours and talk to me about seven-year-old stuff, something about Pokemon cards, so maybe next time. Ms. Walker would also like to shout out Mr. Zwolak. Not only did Mr. Zwolak kill it, at the in-person presentations to middle schools, but he's volunteered to help chaperone the ambassadors who work at Fox Chase Farm. Thank you, Mr. Zwolak. And Ms. Walker would like to shout out 
Miss McPhil, Miss Wagner, and Miss Yakey for also chaperoning. It's a lot of walking, but I know y'all are just as proud of our kids as I am. And finally, from Miss Dignetti. Type it in there, and I believe uh, that crediting the source is important. All right. Uh, from Miss Dignetti to Mr. Lessie, huge shout out for making progress in moving bioscores according to PVAS data. Great job, everyone. Great job, teachers. Great job, students. Today is National Bittersweet Chocolate with Almonds Day. That is an incredibly specific national day. Why can't it be National Almonds Day? Why can't it be National Chocolate Day? It has to be bittersweet chocolate and it has to be with almonds. Happy National Bittersweet Chocolate with Almonds Day. For Mass Bomb, we build the future, especially on National Bittersweet Chocolate with Almonds Day.